Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Legends of Equestria. Oh boy, um, today we're going to be talking to uh, Autumn Breeze and getting a quest from her. Now she's over here out east towards the lake, so if you see blue yonder over there then you head in the right direction. You just go along this uh, path out here and head out to the lake. Uh, she also is wearing the same hat as me. and I, I think this one's a... Oh, uh-oh. I think she's a little bit weird. But, anyways, it doesn't matter. Let's talk to uh, Autumn Breeze. Keep our uh, social distance here. Oh, uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, you're a slighter, sir. I follow equestrian. You look more reliable than the local sort. Could you do me a favor? Fetch me a cookie, and I'll pay you all 30 bits. Oh, uh, sure, I guess. Who are you? Is there something wrong? Buzz off. I'm sick of strangers treating me like a chore pun. Wow, okay. Uh, sure, I guess. Who are you? Is there something you're... I guess I'll say sure, I guess. Thanks. The local food vendor sell them. Maybe my trip won't be a complete disaster after all. Alright, so, um, yeah, uh, there's something special about this quest, I think there's something to do with a carrot. I think she might want a carrot as well. I, I can't remember completely, but I'm pretty sure there's something involving her wanting a carrot. So, um, the way I do this quest, uh, if I remember correctly, is that I just get a carrot as well preemptively so I don't have to go back um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that uh, you can do it the normal way if you want to and just head back I think you might have to head back a second time if you don't do it that way uh, you could also even do it even smarter than what I just did and you could just go over to her and start off with a cookie in your inventory and a carrot and just uh, yeah, you could just uh, pretty much zoom through the quest right there. Now, uh, I'm trying to remember which direction uh, Mr. Free Trade is in. I think it's out south. Yeah, okay. There he is. So, um, anyways, I, I'm pretty sure he sells what we need here. So, let's open up his shop and look. He has a cookie and a carrot. So, I'm going to get that both of those and you know we're just gonna see how it works hopefully this this will bode well for us and we just head back to uh, autumn breeze over here let's get the quest marker just to be sure and oh look look at the hospital over there yep here we go we got a runoff uh fun fact about this episode if you saw the the blue pony and the yellow pony right over there uh, I was actually going to do a quest for them, but uh, I think you have to complete a different quest to uh, be able to complete that one. So I, I didn't get their dialogue or whatever. I remember that being a thing for a while. So I, I'm I'm not 100% sure what it's about but I, I, or uh, what, what's causing that, but I, I'm, I have a feeling it's something to do with I have to complete a certain quest first. So... Yeah, uh, anyways, um, let's get back to, uh, Autumn Breeze over here, and, uh, just talk to her, and uh, I really wonder what happens if you don't get it for her in the first place, does she just accept, but, because uh, it showed a quest marker right over her anyway, so let's do this. Oh, you got me one? Sorry, but I changed my mind. I need something healthier for my diet. Could you get me a carrot instead? Sure, whatever. Could you please make up your mind? No thanks, I quit. I'll say sure, whatever. Lovely. And then talk to her again. That's better. Here, take 15 bits. 15 bits? You promised me 30, you little cheapskate. We'd agreed on 30 bits. Oh, sure, all right. Let's say we'd agreed on 30. Sorry, I just remembered I'd promised myself a spa treatment before I left. I've been looking forward to taking a dip in the Crystal Spa ever since I planned this trip. So 15 bits is all the money I can spare right now. Besides, it's not like you really need 15 more bits yourself. 
I don't care. Give me my money now. I know you wanted to go to the spa, but please think about how I feel. How would you feel if some pony promised to pay you for something and didn't follow through? Oh, sure. All right. Let's say the second one. I guess you have a point. Sorry, my vacation's been a disaster. So I might have been a little... No, I was a big-time jerk. And I shouldn't make excuses. Don't let little problems get to you and make you a jerk to every pony around you. Here's your 30 bits, and if you ever need a favor from me, feel free to ask. And you get 100 XP for that. Uh, I don't know what happens if you yell at her. She probably she probably gives way as well. But uh, anyways, that's going to be it for that quest. That was a really short one. But uh, yeah, I just want to make note of something. You pr I probably used her, that same voice for a different NPC. I, I know. Look, I'm going to be honest. This is episode 48 now, I think. Yeah, episode 48. I'm running out of voices, so, I mean, you might hear some rehashed voices. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that episode as much as I enjoyed doing it. And, uh, I guess now I get to eat this celebratory cookie. Uh, yeah, here you go. Use. All right, awesome. Anyways, we'll, uh, see you next time. Also, I forgot to mention in the last episode, the frying pan can double as a hat. Maybe I should keep that for a little while. Mm, excuse me. But uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, I'll see you for the next episode. Bye, everyone.